Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are going to go over how you guys go about linking a CAD drawing into Revit. So if you guys are trying to link um, a CAD drawing into Revit, um, you guys first want to start off in your Insert tab. Once I'm in my insert tab, I want to make sure that I am on the floor plan level um, that I want to insert that CAD into. Um, this will become really important if you guys are only trying to um, link, CAD, link a CAD or import a CAD um, into a particular view. Now, if you guys are trying to link a CAD and you want that CAD to be seen um, in every um, for instance, floor plan view that you guys have, um, then it really won't matter which view you guys are in as far as floor plans go, um, starting off. So for me, I'm just going to start off in my first floor plan here. I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to select Link CAD. Once I select Link CAD, it's going to have me go and find where that CAD drawing is that I would like to link. So for purpose of example, I'm just going to link this floor plan here. And there's a few things that you guys want to um, take a look at before you guys open up this file. So the first thing is the options that you guys have here down here at the bottom. So the first option that you guys have is colors. So what this is asking you guys is whether you guys would like to preserve the layers that you guys have created in CAD as far as the color goes. If you guys can see my preview here, you guys can see that I have a lot of different layers um, within this drawing. So if I would like to see that color for those layers, then I would keep it at preserve. I can also choose to do black and white, um, which, you know, depending on the project that you guys are working on, I like to bring in my drawing in um, black and white. It's just a little bit easier to see. Um, in the model space or you can do an invert um, which is that just an invert um, of those colors that black and white so I'm gonna go ahead and just select black and white as my option um, the next thing that you guys want to take a look at is your layers um, slash your levels. So if you guys click down on the fly out here, you guys are going to notice that you have three options. You guys can choose to bring in all of those layers um, that you have in that CAD drawing. You guys can um, choose to only bring in the layers that are currently visible within that drawing. So if you guys have layers that you free um, frozen in CAD um, those won't be and those are not currently visible or you guys are have hidden those lines then those will not come in when you guys link this CAD so that is that's all that means and then you guys can also choose to specify um, particular layers um, that you guys have created in that CAD to bring in um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave mine at all for now um, the next thing that you guys will see is import units. Um, I always like to keep this, especially if you guys are starting off, as auto detect. So whatever you guys created, the unit of measurement for your CAD drawing, that will also be the same as you guys bring it into um, Revit. So I like to keep that um, at auto detect here. Um, the next option here is your positioning, where you guys would like Revit to set um, that drawing down so you guys have a few options under here if you guys click on that fly out um, it can be auto origin to internal origin um, you guys have the option to do center to center um, it can be shared coordinates you guys can manually um, place it um, I normally just kind of go ahead and let Revit auto um, place that drawing because we do have the option to move it wherever we would like once we bring it in so I normally especially if you guys are starting off go ahead and leave it at auto um, origin to eternal um, origin and then the next option that you guys will see is where you guys would like that um, drawn to be placed which level um, so if you guys click on that fly out um, depending on what level you guys are currently um, in your model space it should read what that level is so for me because I don't have current view 
only selected. Um, I do want to make sure that I bring in my drawing on whatever my base floor level is, right? So for me, um, that would be the first floor. Um, a lot of times Revit will go ahead and auto um, place this in here for you guys. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that, especially if you guys are not just trying to place it at current view. Because if we were um, trying to do that, we could click this box and you guys would notice that it grays out um, this area here. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine at um, first floor here. And I always just want to make sure that I have Orient to view um, selected just to make sure that it comes in um, at the same orientation of the view that I currently have um, open. All right, so once we've checked all of these options and we are happy with um, what this says, we're gonna go ahead and hit open. Revit will think for a little bit as it loads your drawing in. Um, once Revit has loaded that drawn, it should appear inside of your model space. So you guys will see here, um, I had a few different things within my um, that CAD drawn. So you guys will see kind of multiple plans here. But nonetheless, if you guys just click on that, you guys will see that it um, appears here. If you guys do need to move this drawn and it's not exactly placed where you guys want it, you do have to select... Um, that cat drawn first you guys should see kind of like a pin that appears and you just want to click on that once to unselect it and that will allow you guys to kind of place that drawn wherever you guys would like it to be now the really cool thing about you guys linking cad um versus you guys um, importing CAD, the difference between those two is importing CAD will still give you guys the same result as far as placing that drawing within your model space, but you guys will not be able to edit that drawing in CAD and then have those that those changes show up here um, in Revit. So to link CAD um, gives you guys a little bit more um, flexibility as far as if you guys are not completely done with that drawing in CAD, you guys can always open that drawing up in CAD, make your changes and save. And then once you guys come back over to Revit, if you guys go to your manage tab and you guys go over to manage links, you guys want to go to CAD formats. And that drawing that you guys um, linked, that CAD drawing that you guys linked should appear here in this list. And if you guys just click once to select it and you guys select reload, and I'm not going to do it because I haven't uh, made any changes, but once you guys make those changes, you save and you come back over to Revit, um, you want to select that drawing and click on reload and it will reload for you. And once you guys um, come out of that by clicking OK, it should sh show those changes that you guys made in CAD. So it's kind of a really cool feature, especially if you guys are, you know, maybe creating like some base plans in CAD and you guys want to bring those over to Revit kind of as a guide. Um, this is kind of a really cool feature that Revit has to offer. Um, for you guys. So that is the basics of how you guys go about um, linking your CAD drawings within Revit. Um, I hope you guys found the video helpful. Um, if you did, um, please hit the like and subscribe button. And um, if you guys um, have any recommendations on upcoming videos that you guys would like to see, um, I always love to hear back from you guys. So please leave a comment, um, a recommendation down below. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for joining me today.